So this is the updated tutorial on how to automate your song request for your stream. You need to firstly go to songify.overcode.net, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Click on download now for free and then go to download from GitHub. Uh, as I've mentioned before, some people do struggle with GitHub. It's very straightforward. Look at the first post, the, 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 the release post right here and go down to assets. Click on songify.zip. Of course, download that zip file, extract it and then open up Songify. So when you've opened up Songify, it might not actually appear with anything on the screen. You need to go down to the taskbar down here, the little pop-up window, right click on Songify and then click show. And you should get the uh, menu right here. Of course, nothing's playing right now. We're not connected to anything. So it's not going to come up with any artist or title. So to kick things off, you need to link your Twitch to Songify itself. So you need to go to Twitch, log in with Twitch, and then it's going to come up with this. And then all you need to do is uh, put in your login details and then sign uh, in. So once you click authorize, it'll come up with this little button right here, which is success. Songify and Twitch are now connected. You can close that page and you can see that it's successfully linked to my Twitch account, which is Mini Money Gaming. Uh, would you also like to use this account as the chatbot? You want to say yes to that because that's... Uh going to be what you need to do. You can, of course, have another Twitch account uh, as the bot. But for these purposes, we're just going to have the Twitch account as the bot. Now, this is where things have actually changed to the previous tutorial. You need to go to settings, go to uh, Spotify, and you don't necessarily sign in with your Spotify anymore. You need to link your account via the new system, which is the client ID and client secret, which I'll show you how to do in a sec. So to get your client ID and secret to put into this section, you need to go to Spotify developer dashboard. Again, I'll leave a link to this down in the description down below. App name, you want to name Songify. App description, you can do whatever you like. Songify integration. Um, and then for the website, you can leave that blank. For the redirect URL, you need to put in this exact URL right here. So let me make sure you guys can see it. Go to this URL right here. So it's HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 4002 slash auth. Okay, put that in very straightforward, then click add. Um, and then you make sure to click uh, I understand and, and accept all of the terms and of course click save. Now you've got that information, you now have your client ID, which is right there. Of course, mine's going to be uh, blanked out, but you'll also have your client secret, which will be here as well. So click on view client secret and it will come up with your client secret. Again, these are going to be blanked out because they're mine and they are not yours. So once you get your client ID and secret, you need to click on the copy button on the right. So we go back to Songify, go to the settings on the client ID. We paste that in there. And then for the client secret, we do exactly the same thing. Go back to Songify after we copy it, then go straight to client secret and click that as well. Then the Spotify redirect URI base um, is going to be for 127.0.0.1. So make sure it's not localhost. And then you need to click link. As soon as you click link, uh, make sure the uh, developer app is using the 127.0.0.1, which is, of course, that one. Uh, and then it is the local host. Uh, and it's this one. Sorry, it's the 127.0.1 right there. As soon as that links in, it should come up with allow Spotify to connect to Songify. Of course, you need to click agree. And as soon as you do that, it now has linked your Spotify account. It's all in there nice and easily. So I moved my camera because it was in the way, but now you need to set up your Twitch channel point redeem, your channel point reward that is going to be linking to the song request. If you already have one of these, skip this section, go to the next section. But to do this, you need to go to your Twitch dashboard, go to viewer rewards, then click on power ups and channel points, click on manage power ups and channel points, scroll all the way down to add new custom reward, and you need to add the song request reward. So, you know, you can type it in song request. Uh, I'm going to put song request one because I already have a song request command, but you just put song request or whatever you want to use as in the description a little tip that i have i like to actually include a little indicator as to how the viewers need to format their song request so i say format your request in this way or this format whatever you want to do and then just do song hyphen artist so then that'll encourage your viewers to put it in that exact format. Sometimes if the viewers just put the song and there's another song that shares the same name or is very similar then sometimes the bot can get a little bit confused and play the wrong song so it just alleviates any of those problems. It still happens occasionally, but that I found is a really nice way of getting people to do it. And one thing to note when creating this redeem as well, you need to make sure to click on require viewer to enter text. Otherwise, they won't be able to type in what song they want. Uh, Costa doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want. 2,000, 20,000, a million, whatever. Um, and then you can change all the rest of the stuff in your own time. That doesn't really matter. Then, of course, click create. 
And now we have the channel point reward that your viewers will be using to actually request uh, a song to be uh, on the stream. Now we need to go back to Songify in the settings and we need to go to firstly song request. Make sure to enable SR uh, in the channel point rewards, of course. Make sure to click that on and then go to the rewards section of the app. You should see all of your rewards uh, on this page. You should see all of your channel point re rewards. If you don't, you might need to click on this little button right here, which is reload rewards, especially if you just recently made one. And as you can see now, we have actually got our song request one, which is the one that we just made in our uh, app. So we need to go to this, click on that, and then click on song request. Very straightforward, very easy to do. So we can also set up our bot account as well. I know we clicked on it earlier, but for some reason it didn't work. So we're going to log in with Twitch on the bot account. We have our main account. We have our bot account. We're just going to sign into the exact same Twitch account. So now we got our bot account actually linked in. That's very important. Of course, that's how it's going to actually reply to people in the chat. Again, you can have this as a separate account to your main account, but I personally like to have it as the main one so that viewers know that it is a legitimate action that's been taken place. Uh, you can also turn on this one, which is uh, a nice little uh, feature, automatically announce song to chat. So you can uh, use the exclamation mark song response as well uh, in the program. So it actually responds with what song is actually playing. And this one basically announces what song is actually playing when there's a new song coming on so i like to have that one on uh, in my streams right so now it's time to give this app a little test you can see that we've got a bunch of green ticks in the bottom left of our app which is a good thing it's a good sign it shows everything's linked in together and now we need to change this artist title into the song that is playing because i don't have any music playing right now so let's play a song right here and it should automatically change to what's playing and it does and when we get a new song playing that is playing as well and it changes to what the title is that shows it's all linked in with spotify now let's test it with twitch so here we are on Twitch on my chat right here. Let's show you how it works. So go to your rewards, your redeems, and find the song request uh, redeem that you created earlier on. Mine's song request one, because I already have one that's without. And this is the sort of journey that your viewers will take and uh, will go on to actually get their song requested. So it says what we mentioned earlier, format your request in this way, song then artist. So let's do Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Boom, click chat send it through and then it should have automatically which it has sent it to the queue so it says sabrina come to espresso requested has been added to the queue the good part about this app is it doesn't actually play it immediately so the viewers can't just grief your stream what it will do is it'll add it to your spotify queue so it means that whatever's playing will finish playing and then the next song that plays will be the request that has been made what's also a nice little feature of this app is that if you're playing your regular stream playlist then it won't actually disrupt that playlist it'll add it in between played uh, playlist songs so say like you're playing your playlist everything's going well someone requests a song it goes to that song plays that and then goes back to the playlist that you were on before so it's a nice app it's a nice feature and makes the song request a lot less clunky when you're trying to play games or do whatever you do on stream so that's a quick and easy way as to how to get song requests automated on your stream